hey everybody and oh man there's been some changes going on so this is sim update 10 beta 1.2713 but i'm testing now this the nvidia driver release 516.94 latest release released yesterday and as you can see on the screen these are my open xr toolkit settings not too much on um, i'm running with a good resolution at 2100 by 2100 with nis and as you can see sitting on the tarmac we're starting at 39 frames per second my settings dlss 100 on the scale and on the sharpening terrain level of detail 90 all the settings except for grass and bushes are on high the rest um up above a high grass on medium object level of detail 105 and you can see i got ultra for the textures i got my clouds on high i don't have ambient inclusion on but i have contact shadows everything a lot of settings up on medium and turn on i have the bing data graphics photogrammetry real world traffic i did have live weather on earlier but i i turned it off for this video and we are sitting right now around valdez alaska this is the airstrip at valdez alaska and the dhc6 twin otter love this plane absolutely beautiful and look at this this is going by so nice and smooth i got great clarity on those mountains in the distance look it up there i mean it's it's really going by smoothly here right now i'm really enjoying this um now obviously looking down at the ground straight down that tends to add a little bit of a stutter but once you get a little bit of altitude that really goes away and the frames will be easily 40 to 41 to 46 frames per second once we're up here. So right now, you can see on the external shots, we're getting a 40 to 46 frames. On, on average, I would say really is 45. That seems to be the, the real average that I see most of the time. And again, this, this is looking super, super smooth in the Quest headset with this driver. Yeah not a major driver upgrade i haven't seen uh you know like a tremendous increase in the frames per second but i'm a big fan of updating to the latest drivers and seeing how it runs I, obviously i i like testing the latest things i got the sim update 10 beta running latest nvidia driver which i think was released yesterday the 9th of august and if i had the new quest software um update because i'm on the public test channel for that i'd be demonstrating that right now as well because the new oculus quest software is actually going to allow changes to the recording settings away from the 720p default uh, it actually opens up the options to change the high def change the frame rate the compression and so forth so I'm really looking forward to getting that. But for now, this is NVIDIA Driver 516.94 running Sim Update 10 Beta. And it is super, super smooth. I have my detail much, much higher than I could ever think of setting it with TAA. And the performance is just tremendous. It's really, really smooth. I got some great, great visuals here. Um, it's, I'll, keep, I'll keep testing it. I'm going to test it more with other airplanes, other locations. But right now, it's looking like a great driver. And, you know, I can't wait till Microsoft releases the actual Sim Update 10 with the DLSS support because then NVIDIA will be following up with a driver supporting it for sure. This particular one, no mention of Microsoft Flight Sim. I think it mentioned Sp Spider Man game and a couple others. I don't know. I only do flight sims, I don't know any of these other things too much. But I'm sure once Microsoft releases the LSS support in the sim, that NVIDIA will be following up with a, an updated driver to, to support it. So I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be great days. It's awesome. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the skies.